Hello, my name is Lamar Johnson, and I am an assistant professor of language and literacy for linguistic and racial diversity at Michigan State University. The title of my piece is The Racial Hauntings of One Black Male Professor and the Disturbance of the Selves, Self-Actualization and Racial Storytelling as Pedagogical Practices. Through a series of racialized stories, I illustrate the familiar knowledge, racial hauntings, and the educational experiences that forge the beginning and the continuing of my racial identity as a black male. To examine these stories, I employ racial storytelling as a theoretical, methodological, curriculum, and pedagogical tool to assist me in a deep excavation of my past, present, and future selves, and to illuminate the literacies that my black male body brings to the classroom. The questions that guide this line of inquiry are the following. How can educators employ racial storytelling as a pedagogical and methodological practice? How can language and literacy scholars of color use the radical self-imagination as the thought and concept to face our racial goals and to analyze our hauntings? I share two racial stories. The first story pertains to my great granddad's stories about literacy and how he showed me that literacy is sacred and important within black families and communities. Reentering this moment has shown me that the dominant and traditional versions of literacy were put at odds against my family's and community's versions of literacy. The second racial story I share is a conversation between my former seventh grade English language arts teacher, Ms. Ryan and me. This particular racial story demonstrates how Ms. Ryan's brought awareness to my understanding and conceptualization of whiteness race, racism, literacy, and education. In closing, I propose the radical self-imagination as a recommendation for literacy scholars of color and language and literacy education. The radical self-imagination challenges us to reimagine the world in which we live. I believe literacy scholars, English educators, and ELA teachers cannot engage in organic self-actualization and liberation if we do not embrace and live within the radical imagination.